this is how I always start my mornings. Here I have my multivitamins from Ritual, my probiotics from Seed, just so you can see. I really love this brand. They give you the pills every month in like a little packet for you. Sorry, I'm whispering. I'm just like trying not to wake up Alfredo because he had a really tough time sleeping last night. So here I have my warm lemon water. And in here I have half alkaline water from Flow. And then the other half is regular water with three drops of beauty water from Sakara. This is how I always start my mornings. I like to drink my lemon water to help me digest and kind of like detox everything that my body's trying to detox in the mornings and i am super super hungry i am intermediate fasting i've been doing that for a couple of months now and the last time i ate was yesterday at 6 30 p.m so i'm gonna gulp this down and then make myself breakfast Okay, so every morning I usually have yogurt or a smoothie and I'm gonna make a yogurt today because Alfredo is sleeping. Always coconut yogurt and always unsweetened, nothing in it. Then I'm gonna grab cinnamon and since I can't eat honey I get coconut nectar. Then I just mix it. So I can like be sweet too. And I just love cinnamon and yogurt. I rather buy my yogurt on Sweden and then sweeten it on like by myself. Just to make sure it doesn't have any additive sugars that I don't like. If you have not tried frozen blueberries instead of regular blueberries, I really recommend you try them. It's like it's like candy and yogurt. I love it. And then I'm just gonna get my banana. Okay, so for breakfast, coconut yogurt with cinnamon and coconut nectar to sweeten it, blueberries and banana. I usually put some papaya, some pineapple, but I didn't have that, so I do, but they're not cut or they're not ready. So this is going to be it for today for breakfast. And this is my first meal after like 15, 16 hours of intermediate fasting, which is amazing. Um, I don't know if anybody has like trouble going to the bathroom, but when you intermediate fast, it helps your stomach digest anything that you had in your stomach. Um, so then in the next morning, you're, it's, it's easier to get rid of everything and then start the, day, start the day fresh. I always, always start my breakfast with fruits after my lemon water. It's a good way to start up your digestive system since I follow food combining. So there are these fruits. Fruits are the fastest digesting foods ever. Like those are just the fastest digesting foods. So then to put this in your stomach and have your stomach work it out it'll stop working it in like 30 minutes or so and then that's it you have already started your day with fruits you your stomach digested it in 30 minutes everything's clean everything's ready to go so then you can introduce your second meal and since your stomach is your, your digestive system is already running on track and everything's smooth and clean it'll just be easier throughout the day to digest your food so that's just kind of like something that I learned during food combining that Kenzie Burke helped me a lot with. If you don't want, if you want to check her out, she talks a, a whole bunch more about food combining because that's not really what this vlog is about. I'm just letting you know why I eat foods, fruits in the morning, always. So for lunch today, I'm gonna have leftover pad thai um, that I made a couple days ago um, I'm not able to show you how I made this but it was um, I think brown rice or for something um, noodles then I kind of like sauteed mushrooms carrots and long sprouts with olive oil and garlic in a pan so I sauteed all of that I made the I obviously made the noodles and then 
I put the noodles in with the sauteing carrots, Brussels, I mean, sprouts, like those long white ones, and the mushrooms. So then I mix it all up and I put like this red, um, this red curry paste and it was like really spicy. And then I just made, um, I just boiled a little bit of chicken bone broth and then I just put the bone broth in a plate and then I put all of my veggies and noodles in there. So it was kind of like more of a soup, but today um, it's just like a pad thai, like no soup. So yeah. I made a whole batch just so I could have like every time I'm craving Chinese because like I crave Chinese so much. I love Chinese food and like their noodles and Chinese rice. So that's a lunch today. Okay, so first I kind of I want to kind of like explain what it is that I eat, like what label or whatever I fall under. And um, I fall under plant-based, but non-restrictive. So I'm very into like tuning into my body. And if I'm craving chicken, I'll eat chicken. If I'm craving salmon, I'll eat salmon. Salmon. If I'm like at a barbecue with my parents and they have meat, I'll eat it. I don't have a problem with it. I did have a lot of di I do have a lot of digestive issues though, so that is what stops me from eating. Um, certain things sometimes so like I used to be lactose intolerant and then I'm not anymore but still sometimes I when I eat cheese I'm fine when I when I sometimes when I do um, I blow so it's like it's very weird I just have to listen to my body and um, so yeah mo my foods are just like plant-based um, is usually like a lot of not a lot but like let's say it has rice quinoa brown rice um always always chickpea brown rice pasta i never eat wheat um so yeah that's like bread is like rice flour bread like i don't eat wheat um and i don't eat gluten because if i do eat those things i will bloat and i had to go to the doctor um a while back because i was bloating i kid you not like i went to the doctor and my stomach was growing every month so to me i was like i swear i was pregnant and i was like my stomach keeps growing like it has to be that i'm pregnant and like i don't even know it and i think it's bloat because I, I i'm so used to like always bloating so to me it wasn't like okay yeah i know i'm gonna bloat for like a week and then next week i'll be fine but um i'm like trying to see if i'm like okay looking um so yeah but then like months and months went by went by and i my stomach was just getting bigger so i had to go to the doctor and they weren't able to tell me what was wrong with me like they basically just sent me home and one doctor no lie just told me that maybe it's just because i'm gaining weight um uh, and i'm like guy i'm not gaining weight i eat super healthy i work out like almost every day so it's not that and to him it was because i was gaining weight so i the doctor really didn't help me in that aspect um but i kind of like self-diagnosed myself i did one of those things that i just wanted to google i follow some girls on instagram and um they have like this thing called sibo like um um uh, what's that called sibo is in in like internal bacterial growth of the of like the small small inter small intestine bacterial growth that's what it's called and um i'm like you know what i think i just have a lot of bacteria and parasites in my stomach maybe that's why i'm like bloating constantly so and i do think that what did this to my to my digestive system and my stomach was that for one year straight i ate plant-based like that's all i ate and like broccoli a lot a lot of broccoli and that's what killed my stomach so you guys if you eat veggies make sure they're steamed make sure they're cooked because i went like a whole year eating veggies sometimes not cooked sometimes i don't know i messed my stomach up so now i have to be really careful what i put into my stomach i can't eat any more like broccoli is eliminated from my diet i can't if i eat broccoli if i eat cauliflower my stomach gets so bad that it bloats like up here and it gets so bad like very sharp pains and it's just very it's not tolerable at all it's like really bad 
everybody's different that's why now i just listen to my body and if i'm craving eggs i'll eat eggs uh, what i do really like do really good on additive sugars so i don't eat like pastries and stuff like that and i will like if like man like if i'm really craving it and it's been like a week and i'm still craving it i'll have like i'll indulge indulge myself but if i were to indulge myself every time i had that craving like there's no way so like you know i have to have like we have to have some self-control and i like, just you know do it like eliminate it and like treat yourself every once in a while because if i were to treat myself all the times i want to treat myself i'd just be like huge um my meals are really easy to make it's usually like a veggie patty or like brown rice pasta no chickpea pasta i like don't do brown rice pasta that much um but i do do a lot of um chickpea pasta rice with veggies sushi um with veggie rolls um and i did i do follow like um what's this called food combining i was following food combining for um a, like a year and it did help me a lot um but yeah that's another subject so yeah just mainly what you're gonna see in my food blogs is a lot of plant-based i'll throw in a salmon i'll throw in a chicken i'll throw in um uh, well i'll never throw in meat like i'm never gonna eat meat in the house on this i go out and there's me and there's nothing else but yeah so for the sweet potatoes and carrots i put cayenne pepper avocado oil um salt pepper and that's it they're cooking at 430 degrees for 15 minutes here we have the quinoa it's already done the quinoa is really easy to cook you just do two cups of water one cup of quinoa you boil it and as soon as it reaches boiling point you stop it turn off the heat close it and it'll cook by itself i'm cooking brussels sprouts with onions coconut oil garlic and onion salt this onion salt from trader joe's is my favorite it's my go-to i don't know why this takes so long to Alrighty, so in here I have some quinoa. I'm just gonna put a little bit of lemon, some black pepper, and some salt. And I'll just kind of now I'm gonna add my sweet potatoes with carrots. Okay, I actually forgot to add avocado. I need to add fats into my foods or else I'm gonna get hungry like three minutes later. And I get this cilantro sauce from Publix has it, but I buy it at Aldi because it's so much cheaper and it's plant-based cilantro. So I... <sighs> the ends of the cilantro dip, cilantro sauce. So clean. Alrighty guys, that's my first food vlog ever, um, what I eat in a day. So. If you want to see more or if you really enjoyed this video, please give it a like and don't forget to subscribe and thank you so much. Have a nice day. Bye.